never give a hater a stage to stand on because they want nothing more than to be negative or do something negative and then have everybody to give them attention about it. Never give a hater a stage to stand on. I mean, think about how far a hater will go. They go to blogs, they go to websites. They fill out the paperwork that's online where you get to create a username. They give you a password. And with this username, you get to be anonymous. Some of y'all Maybe sometimes I agree, maybe I have bad image in a pitch because I'm too serious, I take serious. But if you are my friend, if you leave, you will know that I hate to lost. What's that like? What's it like being a footballing superstar? It's great. Uh, this has given me motivation to, to still work hard and better in my job. But I have to say, uh, to be in my shoes is not easy. Uh, but I'm not, uh, I'm not complaining. I just, I just want to say that I'm feel happy. Uh, all this happened because of a reason. The reason is I'm unbelievable inside the pitch. This is why the people have so much interest on me. Maybe it's my fault. Maybe I led you to believe it was easy when it wasn't. Maybe I destroyed the game. Or maybe you're just making excuses. But they're so intimidated and so threatened by me that they will talk about me but not talk to me. The reason I made reference to the Titanic is because just maybe as an analogy, if you are a leader or a captain or someone that has all the money and all of the success and whatever else going in your family, it doesn't matter what level you're on. The question is, how much more successful could you be?